scientists could replicate the experiment to create other samples of metallic hydrogen. For the moment, they have no idea of the disappearance of what was the only sample of metallic hydrogen ever known. The sample could have been degraded last month. Harvard scientists succeeded in creating the metallic hydrogen, something that scientists had pursued in the last eight decades. This sample became the only known sample on Earth. The material is a superconductor of electricity without resistance at room temperature. It is considered to be the holy grail of physics. This sample became the only known sample on Earth. The material is a superconductor of electricity without resistance at room temperature. It is considered to be the holy grail of physics. The sample was stored in the laboratory at a temperature of almost zero absolute in a diamond screw. Silvera and Rangodias, who led the research, were able to create this small sample by compressing hydrogen atoms in a diamond anvil. They put it under an extremely high temperature of 495 gigapascals. However, this single piece seems to be lacking. Scientists do not know if it is out of place meaning it could be somewhere else inside the laboratory at room temperature or if it just degraded back to its natural gas state. Researchers might try to do the experiment again to reproduce the pressure they achieved when they were able to get to the hydrogen metal sample because they did not know what happened to the first one yet. To create the sample of metallic hydrogen, the researchers compressed hydrogen atoms on a diamond anvil at very high levels of pressure that made them compress in metallic form. The idea of converting hydrogen atoms into a metallic form was first suggested in 1935. However, the diamond holder where it was stored appeared to be destroyed in the process, which was discovered when scientists measured the pressure of the system with a low-pressure laser. The discovery was criticized by skeptical scientists who were also working on similar experiments, which have questioned how researchers at Harvard were able to measure the pressure because they relied on an accurate calibration also performing a single pressure measurement of the sample. This makes it difficult to know if the pressure changed over the duration of the experiment and over the lifetime of the metal hydrogen sample. If scientists can reproduce the conditions of the later experiment, they would change science. According to Silvera, metallic hydrogen could be useful in everything from our electrical grid to hospital magnetic resonance machines.